So I was today years old when I found out that if you feed your children a particular brand of cereal, that cereal could actually either turn them gay or make them question their gender identity. And this is actually the point of the cereal company in producing said cereal. And if you don't believe me, well, I'm going to have a serious news person on a very serious news network explain to you how this is actually the case. All right. Woke culture is annoying folks, right? Plain and simple. These nonsense ideologies are being forced into our everyday lives. Listen to the latest lunacy. Kellogg's a cereal brand has come out with a woke cereal. Yes, a woke cereal. This new cereal called Together with Pride features all the Kellogg cereal characters like Tony the Tiger and Toucan Sam on the box to promote Pride Month. Come on, man. The cereal is rainbow hearts covered in edible glitter. How nice. Give me a break. Here's the worst part. The cereal slogan, too amazing to put into a box and then lists a space for kids to write in their own pronouns. Seriously, whatever happened to box tops on cereal boxes? Now you have pronoun spaces. Anyway, isn't Kellogg's a little late to this woke game, by the way? General Mills has a... I think General Mills has a gay leprechaun, right? Well, my producer Carly asked me, is that leprechaun really gay? I said, I don't know, maybe. He wears high-heeled shoes, prances around in tights. Leads me to believe probably that little Lucky Charm leprechaun might be gay. But here's the thing. For those of you that want to vilify me for those comments, right, right there, aren't you just as offended by the flamboyant rainbow hearts and glitter as a symbol of gayness? See, there are two standards here. Nothing like forcing our kids to be confused about their gender first thing in the morning with their breakfast. All right, the moral of the story here is switch your kids to granola. It's healthier anyway. You cut the sugar, okay, and then you don't have to buy products from woke companies like Ben & Jerry's, Coke, and Kellogg's. Okay, I'm going to preface this entire conversation by saying that I am fully aware of the fact that companies like Kellogg's and other multi-billion dollar companies are trying to hijack pride in order to virtue signal in a shameless attempt to cultivate goodwill and cash in on pride. That is absolutely the case. I don't think anyone from the LGBTQ plus community would deny that. And it feels a little bit gross, right? So we all acknowledge this. It's not like we're all rah, rah when, when we see Shell who is destroying the planet, change their logo to the rainbow flag. Like, that is nothing more than corporate PR. But, of all the issues that affect the LGBTQ plus community, corporate hijacking of pride is like at the very, very bottom of the issues that I care about. I care more about equality, and if these large multinational corporations want to change their rainbow logo, um, that's their own prerogative i'll just be sure to avoid all the comments underneath their social media posts when they do this because they're very homophobic and transphobic having said that though it's interesting to me uh, because individuals like this guy the newsmax host what's the main criticism uh that the, the like the main thing that they'll say about the wokesters they'll say they're too hypersensitive they get offended too easily but yet in his criticism of woke cereal he sounds a lot like the wokesters that he's criticizing doesn't he sound a little bit too easily sensitive isn't the things that he's saying about this cereal box a little bit snowflakey is it just me he says woke culture is annoying these woke ideologies are being forced into our everyday lives i mean i literally wouldn't have even heard about this cereal had it not been for this segment i mean maybe i'm just not hip with what the kids are eating nowadays but these are things that aren't necessarily being shoved down your throats you know this is one thing that homophobes and anti-lgbtq plus people say they'll say the heightened visibility of gay people and the gay flag rather this is just you know that ideology being shoved down our throats when in actuality they just don't want to be reminded that gay and trans people exist that is the core issue here it's not that like it's changing our lives in a real concrete way his life isn't being changed at all because of homosexuality or people being transgender but to him the high invisibility that's the issue because look let's face it he's offended by it 
He's a little snowflake who doesn't want to see the rainbow flag because he probably has some issues with his own gender identity or sexual orientation. And, you know, it reminds him that he could have been living an entirely different life had he not been brainwashed by a particular religion. I don't know. Not going to try to psychoanalyze him too much. But he's being a snowflake right here. That's the bottom line. Now, furthermore, he goes on to argue, I think General Mills has a gay leprechaun, right? He wears high heel shoes and prances around in tights. Now, I don't know what the point of this part was. Maybe he's trying to say, look, Kellogg's, they're not doing anything innovative and new. And he'd be correct about that. But those aren't high heels or tights, my dude. Like, what? Were you looking at the picture as you had it up on the screen? I will say, though, as for his observation that the Lucky Charms leprechaun may be gay, I will actually concede that. That's very possible. I always kind of, like, thought of him as being pansexual, possibly bisexual, but I think that is a relatively astute observation for a Newsmax host. So, good on him for uh, catching that. But he adds, for those of you who want to vilify me for those comments, aren't you just as offended by the flamboyant rainbow hearts and glitter as a symbol of gayness? Well, no, because unlike you, I don't get offended by cereal boxes. <laughs> like he's trying so hard to sell the outrage, but this is nothing. I don't get it. Like, this is why I have a hard time taking any conservative serious. Because these are the things that they talk about on a supposedly serious news network. Cereal boxes being woke and turning your children gay. And that's like the main argument that he's making here. He says that this is bad. The reason why this is an issue, and it's not just about him being a snowflake, is because there are two standards here. Nothing like forcing our kids to be confused about their gender first thing in the morning with their breakfast. So he's arguing, literally, that if your kid sees this cereal box, they're going to start being confused about their gender. First of all, if your kid is confused about their gender, I don't think it's because of a cereal box. But if we granted that it was due to the cereal box then wouldn't you also be as equally concerned at your child seeing the Honey Nut Cheerios honeybee on the box? Like, wouldn't they start to think that they're a honeybee? Wouldn't they think that if they saw the Mario uh, cereal, that they could take off their hat, throw it, and then jump on it to get onto higher platforms? I mean, are you serious? Like, there's no way that he's serious. I know that conservatives use hyperbole to make their arguments and they try to sell it as a literal argument, but does he actually believe this? Is he stupid enough to think that a cereal box is going to make your kid question their gender? Is that honestly what you believe? Like, I want to ask him this question. Do you genuinely believe that if you give your child this cereal and they see the box and they can fill out their own pronouns, all of a sudden they're going to be gay or transgender? Is that honestly what you think? I mean, Jesus Christ. How fragile are your children? Perhaps you're a bad parent if your kid is that easily persuaded and you need to instill, you know, some foundational values into them. Well, maybe you shouldn't do that, but I mean, like, perhaps your kid should know about empirical reality. Perhaps you should be educating your kid. If your kid is that, like, easily manipulated, then you've got a lot more issues to be concerned with than their gender identity and sexuality when they grow up. I, I just, like, it's never, ever not astonishing to me to see how they will simultaneously denounce the hypersensitivity of the woke people. And then while they're denouncing the wokesters, they act like the biggest snowflakes ever. It's just honestly, the irony is lost on them, but I will never not point this out because I genuinely enjoy showcasing their blatant hypocrisy. It's just honestly, it's too much.